Are you done with playing small and are you ready to step into your most confident, magnetic self? Do you want to stop second guessing yourself and start to trust your intuition fully? Are you ready to fully embody your highest frequency and attract what you've always dreamed of? In today's episode, we are talking about magnetic embodiment, vibrating at your highest confidence and being able to attract abundance. If that sounds like something that lights you up that you are into, then definitely stay tuned because we are going to be answering what is my true identity? And how is this currently shaping my reality that I am living? And is it my truest expression or is it conditioning? Welcome to Dream Body Alchemy, the podcast that fearlessly explores empowering transformations by unlocking the dormant vitality within your DNA, reshaping your mindset and unveiling your true essence, propelling you towards profound healing and expansion. Join your host, Melissa Valentine, as you embark on this journey to rewrite your story, one of activation, body alchemy, and the unapologetic embodiment of your boldest self. The embodiment, the identity and energy alignment is going to be the foundation for everything else. So who are you really? What is truly me? And what is the ego? What is conditioned? Maybe what is subconscious limiting beliefs? Once you can get to the bottom of it and you find that clarity, you will feel relief because you are now following your authentic path. So let's start off with how does identity affect your current reality? Identity is an internal framework of beliefs and values, self-perception that defines who you believe you are. It shapes how you view yourself, interact with the world, and interpret the experiences that you're having. Your identity includes the role that you're playing, your personal qualities, your desires, and aspirations. And it influences your actions, your decisions, and the way you engage with your life. So essentially, identity is the mental and emotional structures that reflect how you relate to yourself and the world around you. And embodiment is the act of living in alignment with your true identity. So in a little bit, we are going to talk about how can you tell the difference between your true identity and one that might be conditioned or based in ego. It is a full body experience where you integrate your identity into how you move, feel, take action in the world. It's the process of becoming a vibrational match to the version of yourself you desire to be. Not by the external forces, but by deeply knowing and trusting your worth, power, and gifts. Embodiment means you are living your truth in real time. Your thoughts, your emotions, your actions are in harmony with your authentic self. This might manifest as ease in your decisions, joy in your pursuit, or confidence in your body and mind. In the context of even weight loss, it's not just about changing your physical body, but aligning your energy, beliefs, and actions in a way that naturally brings you to your healthiest, most empowered state. Your identity, how you perceive yourself, whether it is true or conditioned or the ego. So it's just how you perceive yourself. This is how it is going to affect your reality. Because when we talk about this, we are talking about your identity affects everything. Your identity is then going to affect your beliefs, your thoughts, your emotions, your energy, and your actions and behavior. So it's like a trickle down. Your identity is based in your beliefs and your beliefs are going to create boundaries. So your identity is going to be core beliefs, your core wounds, subconscious beliefs, beliefs that are underneath that are in the background, driving a lot of your decisions, a lot of your feelings that you might not be aware of. 95% of our actions are going to come from subconscious thoughts. 
you might not even be aware of the beliefs that are affecting your identity and so also affecting your beliefs, your thoughts and your actions and your emotions and your energy. This is where we start to think of the conditioned identity versus who we are at our core. So our soul, our purest form, our highest version without the wounding, the ego and the subconscious or limiting beliefs. Identity directly create these boundaries. What you perceive to be possible or impossible based off the beliefs that you have, what is accessible to you and who you believe you are and what you believe you can create or affect or attract into your life. Your reality is going to be a reflection of these internal boundaries that you are creating based off of your identity. So they can be limiting beliefs such as I'm not good enough or everything is a struggle for me. Nothing is working out for me. Everything is happening to me rather for me. These can be conscious or unconscious. If you have unconscious these unconscious beliefs, they could be blocking opportunities. And they're creating these fear-based patterns that are happening in your life, which can then become self-fulfilling prophecies. These are stories that you're telling yourself. And because of the stories, if they are limiting you, if you are not seeing yourself in your highest version, and you have these limiting stories about abundance or your capabilities or your place in the world or your worthiness, how hard or effortless things happen for you. If you're someone who has to hustle really hard or if you're someone who is just lucky and things manifest with synchronicities, all of these beliefs are going to now create this story and this story is now going to create these boundaries around what can happen in your reality. The second thing that identity can do is it's all about your energy and your frequency. But your energy is gonna come from yourself concept, basically how you perceive yourself. You can have a self-perception that is an energetic field of self-doubt, insecurities. And I'm using Frederick Datsun's levels of energy and I use this quite frequency quite frequently when I'm talking about energy because energy can be measured based on your level of consciousness, your awareness. It also will measure your emotions. The frequency of 100 to 200 is the, the frequency. The emotions are the insecurity, the fear, the inadequacy, the self-doubt, the cravings, all of these are then the emotions, but then you can also have the actions, which we're going to talk about next, can also be put into these energetic levels. If we're saying 100 to 200, these are low level energies. If you have insecurities and you have self-doubt, what is going to happen now is you are going to attract the situations that are mirroring your energy, the frequency you are putting out there. You are going to be in this energy, this frequency of life is happening to me versus life is happening through me. In this energy frequency, you are also going to have a mindset of lack, of scarcity, and you are going to live a life that is going to focus on external validation. So this is very much a life of reaction. You are going to attract situations that mirror this. Now, if you have a self-perception in the energy frequency of confidence, self-worthiness, this is going to be between 300 and 500. This is our goal in Dream Body Alchemy, the Align Body Awakening program that I run. It's a one-on-one -on -one intimate program where we help you figure out your true identity, help you with the embodiment, and help you with your aligned strategy so that you can have your dream body. You resonate at the higher frequencies. You release any limiting blocks, beliefs, um, self-sabotaging patterns that are keeping you stuck and we create your energetic blueprint 
that allows you to see exactly what are your gifts, what is your path in this world, how, what your energetic strategy is for life, help you call in your highest destiny, your purpose. This is also the frequency of authenticity. You begin to have an experience in your life that is attracted or matches up with this more empowered state. It's not just going to affect your beliefs. It affects your energetic field and what and how you're calling things into. Your energy is also going to affect how you interact with other people, how you connect with other people. If you are coming to interactions with people from a place of shame and guilt and insecurity, that is going to affect your ability to be authentic, to be vulnerable with people. If you are interacting with people from an energy of confidence, authenticity, vulnerability, just being able to be yourself, people are going to feel that they're gonna sense that and you're going to be your true self, which is gonna allow others to feel comfortable and open in your presence. And they're going to reflect how you feel about yourself back to yourself. Your identity and truly embodying it means your actions reflect how you feel about yourself, how you see yourself. If you perceive yourself in this smaller version of yourself, if you don't see yourself as your highest version, as your most expansive version, as someone who is highly confident, capable, you might play it small. You'll be less likely to take risks and you are going to be more likely to stay in your comfort zone which is gonna keep you from playing big. If you have this identity of knowing exactly who you are, exactly why you're here, what your geniuses are, what your gifts are, you literally know this is why I'm here. This is who I am. You are so embodied in that. Like it doesn't even make sense for you to do it any other way. You know how you interact with people. You know your exact purpose. You know exactly how to get there. You understand that the path of least resistance is the best and quickest way to achieve everything that you want to achieve and everything that's meant for you, your abundance, what is going to bring you prosperity and fulfillment is based on who you are at your core and you are so sure of yourself as if source, the universe are standing behind you working in your favor. If you have that sort of identity and that knowingness in that identity, then you are going to act from a place of abundance and self-belief. You are gonna act from a place of authenticity. You are going to take risks because you understand why you're here, who you are, and exactly your path. You are going to step outside of your comfort zone and it's going to be a lot easier for you. You are going to trust that you are worth going after your desires because you have the identity of being as authentic as possible. You know that your desires and your passion and your excitement is an expression of your authenticity. It is going to give you that confidence to take the risk and take the action to move towards them. So we went over how does your identity affect your current reality? You can see how really understanding your identity is going to be key, so pivotal in becoming magnetically embodied. It's all about the attraction, the vibration, and this is going to affect your confidence, that knowingness and understanding exactly who you are. How then do I know what my true identity is versus the conditioning? Because we talked about your beliefs are going to create these boundaries. And your beliefs can be who you truly are, your true essence, your true nature, or they can be conditioned, or they can be a part of your ego, or they can be subconscious. Let's talk about the blueprint of who you are. This is going to be 
the system of self-awareness, how to understand conditioning versus your authenticity. I love to use two different systems. The Gene Keys, which is a map of self-acceptance. It takes the ideas of astrology, the I Ching, and your genetics. This is going to show you your core wounds. So a lot of times we come into this world and yes, our childhood can bring up all sorts of traumas and beliefs, but the Gene Keys is so incredible because it shows us that there are parts of us that came here to live through a certain theme or came in here with a core wound. So the core wound and mine is rejection and abandonment, which a lot of people have. You come into this world with this core wound and then you move through your life so that you can heal this core wound so that you can bring awareness to it so you can turn your shadows into your gifts. The Gene Keys is going to make it very easy for you to understand exactly what the core wounds are that could be creating these sabotaging patterns in your life, these fear-based patterns in your life. It is going to show you exactly what is your path to prosperity. So it shows you what is that core wound? How do you turn it into your message? We are all here with a very specific purpose that is tied directly to our gifts, our geniuses, the Gene Keys allows you to understand exactly what you are meant to learn and how you are meant to turn it into your calling or your vocation. Patterns that you might see coming up in your life over and over and over again. This is basically karma and you keep relearning these lessons until you actually learn them. It is gonna show you the core wounding that your soul is here to move through, your actual purpose, and where you're meant to be in this world. If you're meant to be an entrepreneur, if you are meant to lead a group of 15, if you are meant to be on social media and start a global revolution, it tells you exactly what is your brand, what is your voice. It shows you exactly your shadows which is just the lower frequency of your gift. If you are vibrating at the 100 to 200 frequency versus the three to 500 frequency, you can see how your shadows can then be alchemized into your gifts. This allows you to accept that your shadows, your gifts, your path in this world is exactly who you're meant to be. These are the exact lessons you're meant to learn. It allows you to fully self express who you are at your core and who you are not. People will feel shame around these shadowy parts of ourselves, but the Gene Keys is going to allow you to accept the totality of who you are. The other thing that I use to help people understand who they are at their core is human design. Human design talks about your life strategy, how your energy plays with other people's energy. This allows you to understand how does your energy work? How are you wired? And how do you interact with other people? When you're using human design, it allows you to better understand your path of least resistance. It allows you to surrender to the effortlessness rather than always feeling like you have to force things. So you are less likely to feel burnt out, feel frustrated, understanding how your specific energy works. And it also uses astrology, the I Ching, Kabbalah, and then the chakra system, which I love because we'll talk about this in the second part of this series where we talk about how we can begin to magnetize our embodiment and really vibrate at that higher confidence and attract abundance. It's one thing to have so much clarity on our true identity. When you are very clear on who you are and who you are not, what is conditioning, what is not conditioning, who you were born to be versus the ego, versus the subconscious 
beliefs and boundaries you've created for yourself. This allows you to have confidence to begin to do the real work. And so then when you start to see the beliefs and the fears and the energetic patterns and all of those things that are coming up that are blocking you from being who you truly are, it is a lot easier to be able to clear those out versus a lot of people want you to be someone you're not because we think of certain gifts and certain pathways in life as the right way. So a lot of people will think having this much money is what is going to fulfill you, but that is not true if it's not true for you. You might be playing out a role that is not yours. It was just something that you downloaded that was conditioned by society. So society might say, you need to work this job, you need to build these skills, you need to create this type of life and this is what's going to make you happy and you can spend all of your energy doing that and moving the needle forward in that direction and consciously think i am getting closer to my goals but the whole time you are feeling unfulfilled and you can reach all those goals and feel depressed feel empty not fulfilled not feel like you are in your purpose because you are following someone else's blueprint. And these are so specific to each person. So it is so important that you understand your identity, your blueprint to who you are, because you can do all the embodiment stuff, the how to, which we will talk about in the next podcast. But if you are doing the embodiment work, but it is not aligned with who you authentically are, you are going to wonder why you still feel stuck. You still feel unhappy. You still have low energy. You are not feeling passionate, excited. You're still wondering what is the point of this? And it's most likely because you are following someone else's path. It is not who you truly are at your course. You must understand the conditioning and the ego and the beliefs and your energies. All of that is the first thing that you need to do. Most people are starting with the actions and behaviors. I am inviting you to first start off with your identity. I'm gonna bring on a handful of people to go through my Dream Body Alchemist program, the Aligned Body Awakening. We have always done the strategy to help people create their dream body in alignment with their energy, their feminine flow. Then we moved on to the energetics and the emotions of releasing unresolved negative emotions and helping them increase their frequency so they're a vibrational match to the confidence, magnetism, prosperity, and their dream body. And then we would go into the beliefs and then we went into identity. But now I want to experiment with going vice versa because what I find is a lot of times once people go through the program and they come to the identity part, once they embody that, then they are so much more ready and excited and at ease to do the action of the feminine fit flow and frequency codes, which is the action and behaviors. I'm inviting you, if you're watching this, to reach out to me. I'll have a link below. You can book a one-on-one -on -one call and it's going to be specifically with me and we'll see if you are a good fit for this. When you do this, you are going to be liberated from conformity. You're going to feel relief from the ease that comes from living your life in alignment. You are going to feel the state of empowerment when you discover that your challenges are really your gifts. You'll finally be seen and valued for who you truly are. And the most important validation is going to be from yourself, that self-acceptance. You're going to feel excitement the thrill of being able to embody your highest version. If you enjoyed this podcast episode, I would love for you to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube and definitely 
drop down below what part you resonated with most, or even just give me a little heart. If you are on the podcast on Spotify or Apple, I would love for you to not just subscribe, but leave me a review. And I am also on Instagram at dreambodyalchemist. If you send me a picture of your review, I will send you a free gift. Next week, we are going to tackle how do you embody this identity and begin to take aligned action so that you can magnetize and attract the abundance that you desire. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys next Wednesday.